What is going on guys? It is Josh Self 2000 and I am back with my daily video. Now today we're going to be discussing the Packers 2017-2018 schedule, what I think is going to happen, who's going to win, and uh, yeah, let's get it started. Now week one they're versus the Seahawks at home, so they have an advantage since they're at home, they're at Lambeau, you know, they play awesome in Lambeau. Um, I know the Seahawks will bring a lot of fighting with them. But I do think Aaron Rodgers can out-throw um, Russell Wilson. Um, Russell Wilson is good, but Aaron Rodgers, I believe, is 10 times better. Now, week two, we go to the Falcons. I know everybody thinks the Falcons are still an amazing team after last year, you know, going to the Super Bowl, blah, blah, blah. I think the Falcons are going to choke this year. I think we're going to go into their new stadium, and we are going to destroy them. Destroy them. We're gonna get revenge from last year's game when we lost 44 to 21 or 22 or something like that We're going to get revenge and we're going to destroy Matt Ryan Devontae Freeman Julio Jones. We're gonna destroy all of them. I know what's gonna happen and I believe they can do it now Week three we are versing the Bengals at home Aaron Rodgers has never beaten the Bengals and again He's never versed the Bengals Aaron Rodgers has beat every single team in the league except for the Bengals. So if he beat the Bengals, he will have beaten every single team in the league. And that's impressive. It's very impressive. All right. So week four, we're home versus the Bears. This is obviously going to be a win. The Bears aren't that great. Miss Trubisky that they picked up from college is pretty good. But I do believe the Packers are still just going to flat out destroy them. Week Five, we are at the Cowboys. This is going to be an interesting one because Dak Prescott was good last year. You know, a lot of rookies are good their uh, rookie year, but they're not good their, you know, second year. So um, I think the Packers will go into that stadium. I forgot the stadium name. I'm sorry. Um, they're going to take out Dak Prescott. No easy Elliott yet since he was suspended the first six games. We don't have to deal with him. Even though I know we can still beat the Cowboys with Ezekiel Elliott because we beat him last year. Um, but I do believe the Cow the Packers are going to go into their stadium and they're just going to take him out too. Um, I know I'm very, very cocky as a Packers fan. But, you know, I really believe in the Packers this year and they're going to do very well. Then we're at the Vikings versus Sam Bradford. All those guys in Vikings Stadium. Last year, I know we lost to them a couple times. Um, you know, because our defense was kind of poor. This year, it's a little bit better with the rookies that we picked up. And a lot of guys have been doing a lot better. Um, but we are going to probably go into Viking Stadium. And we're going to beat them too. Because I have that much confidence in Aaron Rodgers and our team. Take out them Vikings. And the next two weeks, uh, we're at, um, at home. Versing the Saints, versing the Lions. Drew Brees is a good quarterback. But he will not be able to outplay Aaron Rodgers in that offense. And then at, or we're also at home against the Lions. We're going to destroy them too. You know, last year they had a good year. A lot of close games, which isn't that impressive. But um, we did beat them in the 18th week last year. And that's what set us to the playoffs. The number one seed in our division. But um, we're going to beat them too. And then the next two weeks we're at the Bears and at home versus the Ravens. You know, the Bears, like I said, Mr. Trubisky is good. I hope they don't play Mike Glennon because, you know, they wasted a lot of money on that guy. And Mitch Shabisky, he looks good, but he will not outplay Aaron Rodgers. All right. Like I said, we're at home versus the Ravens. Joe Flacco is good, but he doesn't have a good offense. He lost all his wide receivers since his Super Bowl run. And he pretty much lost all of them. A couple of them retired. A couple of them got traded away. And, you know, the Ravens are kind of in rebuild mode right now. So I do believe Aaron Rodgers will slaughter them. Now, that was another nice voice crack. Just like in my last video. Um, this is the scary game. Week 11, we're at the Steelers at their home. Now, I'm scared for this game only because we're at their stadium. And they got a pretty nasty offense just like ours. Antonio Brown, Le'Veon Bell, Ben Roethlisberger. It's going to be an interesting one, but... We might take the L on that one because their offense is just too high-powered. I don't know. I do have faith in my team. But like I said in yesterday's video, if they lose, the only loss they're going to have is to Pittsburgh, I believe. So that's going to be a really good game. Um, I'm not sure who's going to win that one. That's the only game I'm unsure of. But 
like I said, if they lose, they're going to lose to the Steelers because of their high-powered offense, and it's just, you know, their offense is the same. And in Week 12, we're at home versus the Buccaneers. You know, Jameis Winston is good, but, like I said, Aaron Rodgers is also going to outplay him. And then the next two weeks, we're away. Week 13, we're at the Browns. Week 14, it's the Panthers. We're going to be at the Browns, Cleveland Browns. Come on. Packers are obviously going to beat the Browns. It's the Browns we're talking about. If somehow, some way, Cleveland beats Green Bay, I should not go to school the next day. Because I'm going to get so much bad stuff for it. It's going to be unbelievable. You all guys don't even know. All right. Week 14, we're at the Panthers. You know, Cam Newton is still injured. I don't know if he's going to be good. I don't know if he's out all year. I don't know how long he's out. But I know he had surgery, so he's not the starting quarterback as of right now. Um, but, you know, they got some good guys in there. Greg Olson. I'm not sure who else they have on their team. I'm not a Panthers fan, so I'm not really sure. I know Greg Olson. He's a good tight end. But um, Aaron Rodgers can definitely outplay Cam Newton if, you know, he's the quarterback or whoever the uh, – Backup quarterback is for that team, but I know Aaron Rodgers can outplay him. And the next two weeks are division games. We are facing uh, at Vikings and then versus in the Bears. Like I said, Aaron Rodgers is going to outmatch Sam Bradford again. It's going to be a showdown. And then the last week, we're versing the Bears. So um, it's going to be interesting. I know they're going to beat the Bears, but it's going to be very interesting. So... Um, yeah, those are my predictions for the Packers this year, um, how the games are going to go. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It has been Josh L2000. I hope you enjoy it. Subscribe, like, all that stuff. New video up tomorrow. Give me suggestions. And, yeah, I'll see you guys then. Peace out. Correction, guys. The, uh, last week they're not versing the Bears. They're versing the Lions at home. And like I said before, when they're versing them at Lions Stadium, they are going to outplay Matthew Stafford. The, our offense too high powered, I believe, with the additions of Martellus Bennett, you know, a new uh, couple offensive line people, and our defense is getting a lot healthier. So I do believe that the Lions won't have a chance against Green Bay, but we will have to see. Now, this is the true ending of this video. I will have a video tomorrow. Just give me suggestions of what you want to see. I kind of have something in mind, a surprise for you guys, but... Like I said, still leave me suggestions. And uh, yeah, this is the real outro this time. I promise. Comment, rate, subscribe, all that stuff. It's been Josh Shell 2000. And I'm out.